first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so here in this lesson number two on the topic triangle that is comes under geometry session so now we will be learning what are all the different types of triangles are there based upon angles because everyone knows that what are all the different types of triangles are there what we learned in the previous lesson itself because previous lesson that is lesson number one we have learned four important properties of a triangle and then I have solved some example question also and then at last we have learned one important note about median so median of a triangle we have, we have learned all the basics in the previous lesson itself and in the previous lesson I have explained what are all the different types of triangles are there but it is based upon the sides so we can split the triangle into right one is based on the sides and another is based on angles so everyone knows based upon a side we know what is called as isosceles triangle what is called as equilateral triangle and uh, and then uh, we have many different types of triangles are there based upon the sides but when we take upon an angles right we can split the triangle into right angle triangle right one triangle it's called as a right angle triangle and the second will be acute angle triangle and the third will be obtuse angle triangle right so we can split the triangle into three main categories that is based upon the angle not upon the sides because if you go with the side scale and triangle isosceles triangle equilateral triangle so those triangles we can separate it that we categorize that is based upon the sides if two sides are same then it is an isosceles triangle if all the three sides are same then it is an equilateral triangle but here what we are going to learn is based upon the angle the triangle has been split into two three categories one is a right angle triangle right so right angled triangle and then acute angle triangle and then obtuse angle triangle so now what is called as a right angle triangle if an angle which is exactly 90 degree right it should be out of three angle one angle should be exactly 90 degree then it is called as an right angle triangle if an angle is less than 90 degree for example 35 degree 45 degree then we can say that less than less than 90 degree then it is called as an acute angle obtuse angle is above in the childhood itself our teachers taught this right how to uh, know what is called as acute and obtuse obtuse angle above right above 90 degree so above 90 degree and uh, below 180 degree that is also important right above 190 below 180 let's take this as 130 degree so this is called as an obtuse angle triangle Right? So these are the three different types of triangle we can split based upon the angles and this also everyone knows it right but the problem is uh, one important note here many students would have forgot to learn that for a competitive exam by in the exams most of the exams we can able to see a question like they will give you a sides the sides are in a ratio just I can give you an example question the sides of a triangle are in the ratio let's take an example question right 3 is to 4 is to 5 so here they have given the sides are in a ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5 but what we need to find here is by using the sides we usually draw a triangle right so that triangle whether it is an acute or obtuse or right angle triangle we need to find that how will you find that based upon the three sides we, we can say that yes we can draw a triangle but the triangle what we formed whether it's a right angle triangle or an obtuse angle or an acute angle finding that you need to learn one important note here just see if it is a right angle triangle we know the Pythagoras theorem formula c square is equals to a square plus b square right so if the value of c square is equals to a square and b square then we can say that it's a right angle triangle in case if the c square value is less than a square and b square it is an acute angle triangle if c square value is greater than a square and b square then we can say that it's an obtuse angle triangle so just see here we have a sides of a ratio and many students will have a doubt also 
why you are considering this as A, B and C? Can I take this as C, A and B? No, you should not. Why? Because they have given a value in terms of ratio, right? A is to B is to C. So if the values are given in terms of ratio, then definitely the first value should be A, second value should be B and the third value should be C. So now check whether the triangle that is formed by using the sides, what triangle it is. Just see, C square is what? 25. Right. What is A square plus B square? A square will be 9, B square will be 16, 16 plus 9 will be 25. Again, the C square value is equals to A square plus B square. So friends, we can say that the triangle thus formed by using the sides 3 is to 4 is to 5, it's a right angle triangle. So friends, understood or not? So this is the way by using the sides, we have to find what type of triangle it is, what angled type triangle it is, right? Because this is most important for a competitive exams. Everyone knows what all the different types of triangle are there. But identifying which triangle we get by using the sides are important, right? Because in the childhood time, we have compass, protector, everything. We have a geometry block separately. By using the protector, we can easily find what, what, type, what angle it is and what type of triangle but in the competitive exams we don't have all those stuff we have to learn some of the important notes here so it's one of the important note among it right? so it's, let's take another example so 3 is to uh, 4 is to 6 let's take the sides of the triangle what they have given us 3 is to 4 is to 6 so now our target is to find what type of triangle this formed by using the sides so what you guys need to do is first we have to consider this as a and this as B and this as C. So C square is how much? 36. A square plus B square. A square is 9. B square is 16. 16 plus 9 will be 25. So 25 is A square plus B square. 36 is C square. Which value is greater than here? C square is greater than. So we can say that the sides what they have given in a ratio 3 is to 4 is to 6. If we draw a triangle, then the triangle thus formed is an obtuse angle triangle. Why? Because the value of C square that is 36 is greater than 25. So we can say that the triangle thus formed by using the sides, then it is an obtuse angle triangle. In case if the C square value is less than A square and B square, then we can say that the triangle thus formed is an acute angle triangle. So friends understood or not right most important thing and if you are preparing for any competitive exams like uh, even if you are preparing for your campus interview final year student of engineering uh, preparing for a campus interview or if you are preparing for your state level government exams railway SSC exams geometry plays a major role and most of the questions on your exam will be like this. They will, they will uh, give you some numbers based upon the numbers we have to find what triangle is formed or else whether we can form a triangle by using the numbers. So previous uh, video I have explained I think second uh, property right. So sum of two angles of a triangle that is sum of two sides of a triangle should be greater than the third side. Only then we can frame a triangle or else the triangle will not be formed. So those cases questions you can able to see more on the competitive exams. In the school times those questions will not be asked because we have all the kids, uh, all the uh, what to say, uh, all the kits, right, uh, kits to like geometry box, we draw something, we can easily find what is the length and what is the slope value. But here in the competitive exams, we have to apply the formula, we don't have any kits, so we have to apply the formula and we have to solve the question, right. So make a note of it and uh, from the next lesson we can start solving a question that is based on a triangle right so it's a small video but the concept is more and more important for the competitive exams because most of the question only after finding which triangle it is we can start solving the question right or else without knowing this we can't able to solve the question only if you know what type of triangle it is and then only we can start the, start to solve this question or else uh, we, we can't able to proceed the first step in the question. So that's the reason I am saying the video is even though the video length is very small but the concept what you learned is most important for the competitive exams right. So friends thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share the video to your friends those are preparing for the competitive exams and do not forget to watch all the videos what I posted on my channel and do not forget to watch all the next next lesson what we are going to uh, solve in the topic triangle 
सो वंस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग इट बाय